In this video, you will learn about the Source Control Management feature on the WebFocus homepage. Source Control allows you to sync items in your WebFocus workspace with the remote repository and enables multiple users to make updates simultaneously without conflicts. To place the workspace under Source Control Management, make sure you have access to a remote repository. In this example, we will be using GitHub. Create a new remote repository. Make sure all content that you want to link with the remote repository is published in WebFocus. Let's place this workspace under Source Control Management. Right-click the workspace, point to Git Source Control, and then click Place under Source Control Management. You are asked to provide information about your remote provider so that the two repositories can be linked. Provide your login and contact information, then copy the URL of your new remote repository from the browser command line and paste it into the repository URL field. Click Save. Notice that the workspace title now shows the name of the branch that's currently enabled in your remote repository. Another visible change is that all items inside the workspace now show the untracked label, which means that the source control management is enabled, but the content is not yet synchronized with the remote repository. Finally, if you right-click the workspace and point to Git source control, you'll notice that additional source control options are now available. We are ready to proceed with the next step, creating a new remote repository branch. In theory, you can link all your content to the master branch directly, but it's a best practice to work in a secondary branch before returning all content and changes to the master branch. Right-click the workspace, point to Git source control, and click Create Remote Branch you are redirected to your linked remote repository. Create a secondary branch according to the procedure required by your Git repository provider. In our case, we're creating a new branch in GitHub. Now we need to switch to the new branch in our WebFocus repository. Right-click the workspace again, point to Git source control, and click Switch to Remote Branch. Notice that the options are listed in the order in which you are expected to use them. In the dialog box, select your newly created remote branch and click Switch To. Notice that the name of your new remote branch is now showing next to the title of the workspace in the Resources tree. Now let's synchronize the content with your new remote branch. Right-click the workspace, point to Git Source Control, and then click Commit and Push. In the Commit dialog box, select the items you want to synchronize with the remote repository. In our example, we will select all files. Now click the arrow to forward the files into the staged pane. Fill out the message field, giving a brief description of the data transfer event, and then click Commit. The items are now synced with your remote repository. Let's see what happens if you modify an item in your WebFocus repository. Pick an item, edit it, and save your edits. Notice that this item now displays with the label modified. Go to the Commit dialog box again. Your modified item is the only one listed in the Unstaged pane. Commit the item in the same way that you did your first commit. The modified label now disappears, which means all of the changes are now synchronized between the two repositories. Finally, when all the changes are made and committed, we can bring our content to the master branch. Right-click the workspace, point to Git source control, 
and then click Create Pull Request. You are redirected to the remote repository where you are prompted to create a pull request. Create a pull request and merge your changes with the master branch. Depending on the Git repository you are using, you will typically see a confirmation informing you that the merge was successful. You can now safely delete the secondary branch. You successfully added your workspace and its contents to source control. As your work with Source Control Management progresses, you might find yourself using the Source Control History feature to compare different versions of an item at the moment it was committed to the remote repository. Pick an item, right-click it, and click Source Control History. Now you can see all the commits for this item, as well as basic information about these commits. You can even go further and check the syntax between two commits. While pressing the Control key, Click two commits that you wish to compare, and then click Show Differences. In the Git Revision Difference window, you can compare the code from two versions side by side. The newer version is on the right. The lines that were added are highlighted in green. The lines that were removed are highlighted in red. Another useful feature of the Source Control Management System is the Command Editor. Here you can execute individual Git commands on workspaces as well as individual items in a single interface. To access the Command Editor, right-click the workspace or an item and then click Command Editor. Currently, we have 13 commands available from the Command Editor. To learn more about these commands and their attributes, check out the WebFocus technical content or the Git documentation from your remote repository provider. To learn more, visit the WebFocus knowledge base where you can search all technical topics and videos.